In this episode, we will discuss the treatment of the mesenterial small intestine, which consists of the jejunum and ileum that follow to the duodenum, which we have treated earlier. We will see that the mesenterial small bowel is the whole of these intestinal masses in the periumbilical region and in the lowest part of the abdomen. The characteristic of this part of the small intestine is that it is very movable, unlike the duodenum, which is the most unmovable part of the small intestine. We need to remember that the intestinal loops are highly variable from patient to patient and are also highly variable within the same patient, depending on the whether they are full or empty of the material that will become fecal material or full or empty of gas, whether there is intestinal meteorism or not. Now we will put our patient in a supine position to analyze the main anatomical landmarks of the small intestine. Lie down, please. In the supine position, we can begin with the evaluation and topographic anatomy of the mesenterial small intestine. We will take as anatomical landmarks the angle or flexure duodenum jejunial, which we have talked about in the episode concerning the duodenum, which is located at a 3 oblique finger distance from the navel and the terminal portion will be instead at the level of the iliocachial valve. To find the iliocachial valve, we will draw a line between the right anterior superior iliac spine and the navel. We will divide it into three parts and we will place ourselves on the most lateral third. In this position, we will find the iliocachial valve, which is that sphincter that connects the ilium to the cachium, which will then be first part of the large intestine. Keeping these anatomical landmarks, we will begin to talk about the attachment sites later, which are, as we said before, the ligaments that hold the small intestine, in this case, with the other organs. In order to circumscribe the small intestine, we can begin to palpate where the upper end of the small intestine will be the transverse column. <laughs> 